That was the best medical seminar I have ever been to. Learn anything? Oh, you know, just the uh, ins mm. and outs mm. of human anatomy. What about you? Mm -hmm. Did you learn anything? Yeah. To take you to the Port Charles Hotel more often. Oh, yes. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, hi, Victor. Victor. Not that we're not always happy to see you, but if you wanted breakfast, don't you think you could have gone to a restaurant? Well, you don't really think I came over here at this hour just to use your waffle iron, do you? Something's going on. I, uh, I have some news for you. Did you find out that D.V. really is the Cobra? It's about your son, Eve. We've uncovered proof. You were right the first time. He, he did die at birth. Heads up. Oh. oh. Congratulations, Miss Devlin. You've caught the bouquet, which means you'll be the next young lady to head down the aisle today. It's really happening? Yeah, we're getting hitched. Nice of Ferncliff to allow you some flowers, isn't it? Oh, minus the thorns, I noticed. Well, that's just in case you want to try and prick your way out of here. <laughs> what do you think about the arrangement? It's beautiful. Well, <laughs> except, um... For the, uh, the roses and carnations. Hmm. Roses and carnations. What's left? Well, I I'm a, a lily and iris girl myself. Oh, say no more. Say no more. Let me just mark that down in my Julie journal here. No roses, carnations. <laughs> Are you keeping a list of my likes and dislikes? Well, I have to know how to please my bride, don't I? I hope you put Chris Ramsey in the like column. So, when is the ceremony? Rachel's just picking up the justice of the peace as we speak. You're making a big mistake going through with this. Don't be so cautious, Rachel. This is exactly what we need to break up Scott and Lucy. You use psychic projections on them, and they're going to tie it together with, with what's happening to Kevin and Eve. I'm willing to take that risk. You're losing perspective, and you're making reckless choices. When I want a therapy session, I'll pay for one. I can't stop you. But I can certainly make things difficult for you. Now who's the one making the mistake? No, 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 no. It went great, especially when they saw that big old ugly bump on my head. <laughs> no, of course I'd never hold it against you, D.D. No, it was all part of the setup. No, don't worry, Scott did not suspect that thing. He has no idea I was the one who untied you. Oh, no, really, I'm just relieved you went away. If anything ever happened to you, I'd... No, I can't wait to be together either. Okay, I love you too. Hey, you. I didn't even realize you were home. Oh, so that gave you an opportunity to sneak a call into your boyfriend? Changing. It's changing. In a gown. Uh, what do you think? In? Maybe out? Whatever you want. Is it too big? Maybe something smaller. Hmm? What do you think? Are you a little nervous, Chris? No. <laughs> no, not at all. I just want everything, you know, to go well. It's important to Julie that, that you know, she have, you know, a nice, nice wedding. You just assume get married in sweatpants, right? Right. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, you no, know, no, it's just... Okay, I'm, I'm a little excited. What, what, is that a bad thing? It's just weird. Because you're marrying somebody who has been declared insane? No, no, it's just, uh, you know, I've actually found a relationship that has a chance at working. You must have had some lousy relationships. Uh, there was a time I thought I was in love. 
but uh, for whatever reason, it, it didn't work out. Any idea why? Uh, well, you may find this hard to believe, but um, not exactly the kind of, you know, upfront sort of person. No, no. Here, I thought you were just out there with your feelings. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's just with every other woman I've ever been involved with. You know, they have, haven't been able to read between the lines. Julie, Julie can, though, you know. She gets it. Here comes the bride. <laughs> you look absolutely beautiful. Doesn't she, Chris? Beautiful. Took my breath away. So, you two ready to get the show on the road? Hmm? Uh, yeah. Sorry, um... What about the Justice of the Peace? Uh, yet there was just one little hitch. Hitch? As in he backed out? As in he passed away. Oops. But don't look at me. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I tried to get another Justice of the Peace. It just seems that no one's too excited about marrying what they think might be the general homicide murderer. Are they afraid I'm going to throw knives instead of the bouquet? This is just great. What are, what are we going to do? I mean, who's going to perform the ceremony? Me? An autopsy report. Confirming your son's death, yes. Where did you get this? From my intelligence contacts. And you're positive these oh, people Mark, are... they're absolutely reliable. By the act of passing this information on, they vouch for its authenticity. I know... This is not easy. But maybe now you can put all of this behind you, both of you. Yeah. I guess it's time, huh? He's gone, Eve. The best thing you can do, the only thing you can do, is to grieve for your loss and then get on with your life. Not exactly. But your questions have all been answered. One of our questions, maybe. What, Kevin, are, are you saying this isn't real? Eve, I don't want to get your hopes up, but there is still too much that we don't have explanations for. For example, the visions I keep having. The voice that you heard of the little boy. Well, Mark, I may have an answer for that, too. Not if you're going to tell me it's just stress. Does Bordiso have any reason to want to hurt you? If he found out that I had his son... Wait, you think Bordiso knows about the baby? That would explain why you keep being bombarded by all these memories of the child if he's chosen that way to try to get to you. By using mind control? Monk, if Bordiso is Cobra, he has associates who know how to make people see and hear things that aren't real. Handy little tool. With a great deal of potential. He can manipulate, he can, he can drive someone crazy, whatever he wants to do. You are absolutely right. The sales potential there is huge. No, no. Tell them there's no way and you do your best to stop it, okay? You will. Okay, ah, great. Thanks, Don. Oh, I cannot believe it. Do you realize sales wanted to stop distribution to Tokyo? What are they thinking? But I fixed it. I handled that right quick. Okay, sorry. Now, back to whatever we were talking about, which was what? This boyfriend business? What is going on? You ask me what's going on, you're on the phone with Bordiza behind my back, and you ask me what's going on? Wow. There's a great big joke here that, whew, is just missing me completely. Oh, what? will you stop trying to do the sidestep? I heard you up there on the phone. You heard me talking to Don. That's the only person I've been talking to ad nauseum all morning, all morning. Let Don. me, uh, sort of refresh your memory here, Lucy. Scott doesn't suspect a thing. You're delirious, I think. You have no, a I'm favorite. not delirious. You... I miss you, Bordizo. I can't wait to see you again. I love you. I love you? Why in the world would I ever tell someone like David Bordizo? I love him. You know well, better than yeah, that. I do what? know better than that. What I think you're doing is you're trying to hatch a plan behind my back. Whoa, 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 whoa. You think I'm actually trying to go after Bordizo all by myself? Absolutely. This is typical stuff that you do. Just when we're getting along here, you go do something stupid. You screw things up. Okay, I know you're trying to protect me and the girls by doing this, but it's wrong. Whoa. You're serious, and I'm worried. I I I'm, I'm going to call a doctor. You need to at least talk to Kevin, okay? No, no forget about Kevin. Just fess up here. Fess up to what? I'm not hiding anything. Yes, you are. 
Are you calling me a liar? Well, I don't know what else you call someone that says they didn't do something when they did. Wait a minute. This is ridiculous. I, I didn't call you a liar when you told me you wouldn't go after D.B. and you did go after him to kill him. I didn't call you a liar. Now you're doing this to me? Lucy. Now listen to me. I'm going to be damned if I'm going to stand here and let you accuse me of something I'm perfectly innocent of. I know what I heard. Well, I know what I didn't say. So a couple of my sorority sisters dared me and, well, I went for it. Became an ordained minister. What did you do? Go to Bob's School of Theology on the weekend? <laughs> Actually, it was Cosmo. For fourteen ninety-five, you too can become a minister. It was nineteen dollars. <laughs> I paid the money and filled out a couple applications, and well, there I was, clergywoman. Oh, what's next? You get a medical degree off the back of a cereal box? Okay, I'll be honest. I, I have never done a service like this before. I feel relatively sure I, I can do it. What do you say? A shrink performing the wedding. Why not? <laughs> Seems fitting under the circumstances, don't you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Maybe we can get a couple couches in here and we can tie the knot lying down. <laughs> <laughs> um, all we need is a witness. What about Heather the Hatchet, the murderess next door? Well, Pookie, she's such a cut-up. <laughs> How about I just ask a couple orderlies to stand up for the two of you, huh? Well, I don't know about you, but this is exactly how I pictured my big day. Would you rather not go through with it? Oh, hey. I'd marry you on death row if I had to. Well, if that's really how you feel, maybe a mental institution is the right place for this wedding. Well, let's do it then. Okay, listen, I made you some kava kava tea with a ginkoba booster. It'll help relax you and restore your memory. No, Drink there's it. nothing wrong with my memory. Are you trying to tell me that you are not trying to concoct a plan to go after Bordiza? Okay, I want you to sit down. Sit down now. Sit down. Okay, now look right into my eyes deeply. I, Lucy Coe, do solemnly swear, do you hear me? I swear I am not concocting or coming up with some weird plan to go after David Bordiso. All by myself, I swear, okay? You didn't make that phone call. Oh, no, I didn't. So I'm hearing things. Well, I, I don't know. You know, we've all been under a lot of pressure with all this Bordiso mess. Lucy, I have been under pressure before. Believe me, I've been under pressure. And I have never imagined phone calls that never happened. So am I going crazy? <sighs> No, no, you're not. Don't be ridiculous. You know, there has just got to be an explanation, that's all. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. There must be some kind of explanation. Oh. I'm sorry that I doubted you. Well, thank goodness. I'm glad you finally came around. Well, you know, I just, uh, I'm on edge with this Bordiso thing. Well, I know. Who wouldn't be? I want him gone. I want that man gone forever and our lives back to being safe and sound again. And having the kids back in the house, and uh, you and I... <laughs> yeah. Hey, why don't we do something about it now instead of later? Let's go over and see Eve and Kevin and show them that picture of the little boy that D.V. had and see what they know. That's a good idea. I believe you 100%. Hey, I know that you trust me. You show me that every day. Come on. Let's go. Thanks for coming, Victor, and telling us everything. I just wish I'd brought better news. All right, I have to say it, Victor. I can't help but feel that you told even me what you did to stop us from searching. Well, I'm not going to deny I would prefer you drop the investigation, but not at the expense of the truth. No matter what my sources uncovered, I would have been completely honest with you. That means a lot. Unc? Victor. Well, I guess that's it. I don't have to worry about raising a nine-year-old boy I'd never met. But, you know, I hear that can be hard. You know, when you don't have a child right from the beginning, I hear there can be all sorts of adjustment problems. 
Yeah, well, I'm not convinced that we have the whole story. If there's more to be found out, I think Kevin, we should Kevin, try... stop, please. I don't want to get my hopes up anymore. I can't do it. It's like losing my son over and over and over again, and it hurts too much, okay? It's over. And I have to face that, and you have to let me. Whether there's a bigger picture to all this or not. So you're saying that you don't need a detective. What you need is me. Something like that. You really have been through it the last few weeks. Yeah. I swear to you, if I find out David Bordiso is the reason... If David Bordiso has anything to do with this, I'm not going to let him get to me, okay? He can throw me as many psychic images as he wants. It's just going to be a big waste of his time. Dearly beloved, we are gathered in the presence of this company to join Julie Devlin and Christopher Ramsey in marriage. I ask you both that if you know of any reason you should not be joined in marriage, that you make that known now. I, I snore. So do I. <laughs> well, well, a match made in heaven. <laughs> Chris, would you please take Julie's hand and recite your vows? I, Christopher, take you, Julie, to be my lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or even richer, to love you and comfort you, honor and keep you out of Ferncliff for as long as we both shall live. <laughs> <laughs> Julie? I, Julie... Take you, Christopher, to be my lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, in good times, or hard time in the pen, <laughs> insane or marginally balanced, as long as I let you live. <laughs> well, uh, the rings, please. Can't get it off. Let these rings symbolize the devotion and commitment that each of you holds for the other. I give you this ring in solemn token and pledge of my constant faith and abiding love with all that I am and all that I will become. I give you this ring in solemn token and pledge of my constant faith and abiding love with all that I am and all that I will become. And as much as you have both consented together in marriage, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the laws of this state, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Well, come on, you can kiss the bride. <laughs> so that's when Scott tied D.V. up and went out to the car to get the body bag. Whoa, you were really going to kill D.V.? Yeah, I was. Well, it's a good thing you stopped yourself. Yeah, but now he's going to be after you more than ever. Well, that's exactly why we're keeping the kids... And Sigmund, of course, out of town, but I'm going crazy. I have to tell you, not seeing him. All right, Dee's bound to come back with something big. Have you thought of ways to protect yourself? Well, you could move to Guam. I think you'd secretly like that, Eve. Well, I wouldn't stand in your way by any means. Ladies, la ladies, ladies, please, ladies. ladies! Let's focus. Yes, the real reason why we're here. Yes, the, the real reason why we're here is this. We found this photograph 
in Devi's cabin. I thought, to me, it looks like this picture of this boy was taken, maybe, on Jasmine Island. This is him. This is... This is the boy I've been writing about. Oh, my God, Eve. Could that be your son?